everyone and welcome to Jack and Cat Adventures. Today we're going to be making stuffing. Um, it's all up to you what you like to put in yours. I only like carrots, or celery, and onions. So let's get started. And you can put as much or as little as you want in. And you want the, the pieces cut kind of small. In my pan I have a stick of butter melting and to that we're going to add our um, onions and celery to saute. And I like to put a lot of onions and celery in mine because the flavor is so good with it and you really don't have a lot of flavor other than some herbs in that so you really want to flavor it up. And what I also do is I use um, homemade chicken stock to put into my uh, dressing. Also, while you're waiting for your vegetables to get done, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to help us get our points up so that our hours up so we can bring you new content. We would deeply appreciate it. All right, now that my um, celery and my onions are opaque we're going to pour them into this bowl and make sure you get all that butter that's in there okay now you're going to add one bag of stuffing it's 12 ounces i'm using the earth season uh pepperidge farm cube stuffing i don't like the stuff i don't know it's not called stuffing it's called um Stuffing or what's the other one called? Dressing. dressing. It's the other one is dressing. It's like that. All these pieces are like meal. They, they just get real wet. That's not what I like. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some poultry seasoning. Now this is all to taste. Now this the, the seasoned um, cubes do have poultry seasoning in them, but I like to add a little bit more for more flavor. Okay. All right, and I'm going to add some salt and pepper, not too much. Okay, and now I'm going to add one egg. That's optional, you don't need to do it. I do it because I feel it holds the um, stuffing together better. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of toss this real lightly. Okay, now you're gonna add two cups of chicken broth. And it's about half of this. And we'll see if we need more. Now, we're going to bake this for a half hour. If you don't want it really crunchy, um, bake it with foil on the top and maybe the last 10 minutes take the foil off and just let it crispen up a little bit. I think I'm going to do mine without the foil on it. I think I want it crispy tonight. I am going to need more um, broth. It all depends on your bread that you're using. Now we don't want it like really, really wet or it'll be just mush. Just put this mixed in really well. I think I need a little bit more. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that's perfect. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pan and we are going to butter our pan. I just melted some butter and I'm just gonna Alright, 
And then we are just going to put our stuffing in this pan. You guys, this smells so good. All right, and now I'm just going to move it around so it's all even. Kind of push it down tight. You also could do these in um, muffin tins. Just grease the muffin tins and um, go ahead and it'll cook up just the way you like it in a half hour or two. So whatever you like. All right, so I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to cook it for a half hour. All right, so here's our stuffing done. And it took almost an hour for it to be the, to the crispiness I like it. It's just lightly browned on top. It's moist in the middle, and it's delicious. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you do you.